So before starting her eyebrows, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the brows. So don't look at me here by drawing. My drawing is worst. <laughs> Let's say this is your eyebrow. This is a very easier shape that I have made it here. But eyebrows are very complicated, by the way. These are not something easy that you go and you just take the thread or you just wax them and then the shape is there. No, it's not. That's why there are so many people that are popular for this work. There are so many people that they were popular but not anymore because they forget how to do it. Some people, they're so good how to do threading, but they don't really know how to do shaping with the brow. So the chemistry of the hair, when your hair is growing this way, you have to thread it from this way. You cannot remove the hair from this side. You can't. Because first of all, the grip is not easier for you because it's keep going to slip from your thread. So you have to go from here. And if you're threading it wrong, you will give them, you are giving them basically ingrowns. And nobody wants to see black spots on their eyebrows. Everyone wants to see beautiful, nice, clean, beautiful eyebrows. Some of them, they are not into shaping. They just want to have like a super duper clean look and that's it. That's not their, like my eyebrows, I never shaped my eyebrows. Because this is how I like to wear my eyebrows. It's just nice and clean and that's it. I don't want to go in shaping and stuff. But some, some girls, they are so much into shaping. They love to get shaped their eyebrows. So the first rule right here is just to thread the brow from the opposite direction of the hair. So as you girls have read, I don't know all of you girls or not, about the hair. Um, so every uh, continent have their own style of hair. Like our skin is different, our hair texture is different, our brows are different. Some of the girls, some of the people from different continents, they just have half of the brow. What to do? They are here in a, in a city where everyone is coming from somewhere and they like their eyebrows. They're like, please make it longer. How to make it long? <laughs> this is a natural eyebrow. I cannot make it long. You can teach them how to pencil it in, maybe. You can, but that's not the permanent solution. That's not what they want, yeah. yeah. That's not, they're not going to come back to you. They'll be like, okay, I'm going to pencil it. I don't need you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right? So what you got to do, even with this one, you can give them a look that their eyebrows are looking so much longer. So you have, as I said, like your, eye, your eyes are basically the measurement scale for them, for their face what you can do, what hair to leave, what hair to pull it out from their follicle, and how to pull it out. So if your arm having this thread loose on their skin, you will give them scabs. They're not gonna come back to you. Nobody wants to get cuts. Nobody wants to get like a, a threading service which is painful for them. Threading by itself is a little bit painful. Any service that is removing um, any hair is painful. But make it less painful with your techniques. So your hand has to be super soft, and this thread has to be stick to their skin. When it's on top of their skin and you're doing it, so basically what you are doing, you're cutting a tree from the top, not from the root. And it's so, so, so painful for them. And also you can cut their skin too. So you're making sure that um, their skin is not getting hurt, is not getting red, Especially, you have to see, if their skin is very sensitive, your pressure has to be very minimal. Some people, you just put the thread right here, it's red mark. You are getting scared. And they're telling you, no, it's okay, I've been always like that. But then again, what is your responsibility? They give you an easy thing to, to in your mind. They put an easier thing into your mind that, you know what, I'm okay because my skin is like that. But from your responsibility, you have to be very careful that first you do like a very less pressure to their skin. Also, after that, aftercare is very much important. So you have to have all of these products that they can calm their skin. And if you want to be professional, not just do the threading. Right after the threading, use different tools that is giving them like a, like a little nice fancier service that other people are not providing them. Just threading, $10, leave the chair, go. Mm -hmm. That is the threading, that these are the artists, Nobody wants to go back to them. 
but there is a threading. When you're getting threaded, you're using a great toner. Sometimes I do my own toners. I mix different toners and I make one toner out of it. So I do with chisel, I do rose toner in it, I do cucumber in it, I do aloe and I mix it. I mix it, little, little, little portions in one big bottle and I use it and they love it. And sometimes I just use aloe vera gel to it, sometimes like the cold globes, sometimes those little vibrators that can, you know, soothe their skin. So all of this after the threading. They love it. They, they notice it that you are different than other people. So if you are asking them to pay them $25, they will give it to you. And they will also compliment you. They will go to your Yelp and they will give you five, five stars too. Just because the services, the treatment they have gotten from here. All right, so let's recline this chair. This is the shape I generally go. Mm -hmm. um, I actually tried to do it myself a little while back. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I've had it overplucked a bit, so I've been growing it out. But I think it's time I take care of that. So that was pretty, pretty round. You know that that shape. Yeah, I know. I like the um, the, the wrong look. Yeah, on your face. So with her face, what do you girls think? So the round shape will is gonna look good on her face. Please. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. What do you think? I think she should stick to her natural shaping. Mm-hmm. And it should just be clean. So if you're gonna give it to her a round shape, because her face is not the face that you can give it to her a round shape. It's gonna make her face too look too big. And also this part of her face is gonna pop more. And right now the fashion is to make it more skinnier. Girls are going for surgeries. Yeah. This part they're making it thinner. So if you go to Instagram, if you go to you know all these different social media. They always are teaching you what to do to make this line more pop. Mm -hmm. So if you're making this part look bigger, you are then so different. Then maybe so. change it, please. Right. <laughs> so that's I you have to convince them. I didn't, didn't even them. know that that right. was the case. So you have to convince them with your knowledge. You have to convince them and telling them that, oh, you know what, honey, it's not going to look really good. It's not going to suit you to your face. So let's do something that is just so perfect for your face and give I them an idea. Them yeah, look, and we, we can give them like nice ideas. If nothing, then just convince them for just a clean up. Don't lose your client. Don't just do too much shaping. You need to know like what your client basically wears. So for her, I can already tell that she's not really a big person on makeup. This is the first thing that came into my mind that she's not the person that she wears a lot of makeup and she's gonna go home and she's gonna take like 15 minutes to draw her eyebrows. She's the person wash her face, put something and then leave. I wash my face, put sunscreen on and put powder on and put lip, and lip, lip balm, that's it. I that's like it. natural. So. <laughs> All right, so. And before anything, I will give you the hand sanitizer. This is the first thing that you gotta give it to them. Let's brush her hair. Okay. It's better to tie it in your neck, and that's how you're not going to be interacting, like putting everything in your mouth. It's much easier and much cleaner for your own self. And then just twist it. So these are the fingers that I'm going to use it. So make sure your hands are super clean, even for yourself. So whenever you are getting done with your point, you just take this off, throw it away, because what you're removing their dead cells from their top of the skin. Their hair, you don't want to take this to, with you to your house, to your car, to your kids, to your family. You don't want to do that. So I just twist it like a couple of times. Not Two times is not enough. You're not going to grab the hair. Three, four, five, six. Let's do at least six. And then these are the fingers that I'm going to use. This is my motion with the thread. This is just to hold the thread. This is the hand that where I'm going to move it. So if you girls want to come close to me, you can definitely do it. So usually when we start, we start from here. I don't really measure the brows until I have to do the microblading. For microblading, it's, it's a different service. So what we do, people have like very far eyebrows. <laughs> that makes their face bigger too. 
So only this index finger. Put it right here. This is enough for her, this gap. So whatever you see extra here, you don't really have to remove all of the hair sometimes. Sometimes you just trim it nicely and that's it. that is enough. So let's say, I'm gonna start from here. And you just move your neck up to Yeah, it uh, depends, depends. Like everyone, as I said, like everyone have their own techniques. Mm -hmm. For me, I maybe I use my neck a lot, but I'm just so used to it, I don't really just realize it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's just a very yeah. minimal. Uh -huh. So just go under right here. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you're keeping every service separated. So till here and till here. It's a part of the brow. Mm -hmm. If they're asking you to go more, it's an extra service. Okay. Charge them extra. Charge them from their extra. Right. Ma'am, it will be extra service. This is what we charge for the forehead. Yeah. So you can you can explain it to them. You have pretty eyes. Thank you. So let's say now I have to be here. So this eyebrow, I have to be here to see what's going on here, right? So I'm going to take my thread, I'm going to put it right here. This thread, when I put it this way, I'm going to thread it straight. When I put it this way, this is what I'm threading. All of hair is going to go to this way. Okay, so you have to be very careful that what you are doing. So look, you can see like what I'm taking right here. One, two, three, slowly. One, two, three, slowly. Can I sneeze for a bit? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It's not allergies. Let me tell you one more thing. When we pull the hair, it's very normal for our client to sneeze because everything is connected mm -hmm. to your nasal. Yeah. So don't get afraid. Don't set, don't think that they are sick. But still make sure because the time has been so much changed. Yeah. So when you are sneezing, so please tell them. Sometimes you sniff their hair and that, that makes you sneeze. Mm -hmm. so, and some people are just so cranky. They will give you a hard time. Are you sick? No, I'm not. I'm not sick. It's just yeah. your hair in the air and I'm just like, you know, breathing into it. Yeah, I've given a facial and had a full-blown allergy attack <laughs> right. in the middle of it. So. so just move their face where you can see that you have like a better view and grip. This is so cool. I'm going to try threading my legs later. <laughs> yeah, that's how you can practice. So this part, already got it done from here. Now from here, I'm going to move my thread towards her natural shape, which is this way, the edge of her eyebrow. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, now you have to pull your eyebrow, honey. Bless you. Thank you. You got to pull your brow? Pull my brow like. So, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. Most of the people, they don't really know. Even they keep coming to you. So, and they will, they, they're going to feel bad. But you just make them comfortable. It's okay. I mm -hmm. even forget. So, give me this one, please. Leave your tissue aside. Put it right here. This part is very much important. Here, you can cut them. This is a very thin skin. I'm mm -hmm. glad none of you is just the threader. You all are learning from school. Hair is skin. The whole background, the chemistry, the physics, um, the anatomy of human body. So you girls are learning that. You are just not a threader from a street. You're learning it. So you know the whole thing. So here, this part, this is very thin. So if you are putting a lot of pressure, it's going to be painful for them. And we can cut them too. So this has to be really tight. Tell them if there are some people they just pull it this way. You keep them, keep telling them, and they're this this. How I'm going to thread your brow? Yeah. Put their hand, open their fingers, and put it right here. Tell them that no ma'am, it's not right. You're gonna get the cuts. When you're telling them you're gonna get the cuts, they're okay. Then they're gonna follow you. Now right here. Don't feel bad to move their fingers. So take a straight line from her eyebrow right here. Okay. 
make sure you're not removing a lot because once it's gone it's gone but if it's too thick you can go back again and you can reshape it Cold, please. So this is her eyebrow right now, okay? Without the trimming. Hand them the mirror and tell them this is your eyebrow without the trimming. So here, take a look, please. Can I have a little bit of trimming on the top? Because I like to have it. Um, like Even if you are going to tell them. So mm -hmm. please don't mind it. Because you're going to see so many people in your real life like yeah. that. When you have like 10 people same type of, you get frustrated and this is the reality. But then again, keep it calm. Mm -hmm. I know you have told them already that this is the shape without the trimming. But they were like, can you please trim it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. No problem. Yeah. So I generally like it like a clean line. Like, not like, like with little ones going up. I don't really like that part. So move her head. So when I'm brushing it upwards, I'm basically seeing better and clearer right here, okay? Go ahead and pull this one, please. So this is going to go on your bottom right here on your eyelid. Oh, right. Yeah. Get the other one right here. Give me this one, please. Yeah. See that sometimes you use the thread to kind of brush the hair up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do too. I move the hair yeah. with the thread too because I'm just so used to it. So if I don't tell you anything, please just notice what, what I'm doing. Okay. Right? Yeah. My finger is looking bit. Mm hmm. Let it go, please. Yeah, just a little bit of mucus in my throat. Okay, pull again, please. Are you the only um, mm -hmm. person who had the mm -hmm. or do you have other? Other employees? No, I don't. I'm looking for somebody right now. Yeah, but I want someone who is licensed so they can perform other, uh, you know, other services. services. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Medical, please. It came out 
really pretty on her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They look perfect. One thing that you all need to know, like, what do you see in her eyebrows? What you can mm -hmm. convince if she's complaining about her shape that it doesn't look the same. Yeah, that it's, this, not, it's slightly different shape yes. than that one. So, first of all, Yes, as I said, like you, you girls are studying this, yeah. so you have to have like all your confidence to talk to your client. Tell them yeah. this whole body part is different. It is. Yeah. This and this yeah. is different. This 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 side. Side. So you know, all, everyone is happy. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Everyone is telling us like, oh, you know what? Just take my picture from this side because I look prettier from here. Why? Because you know it that this is different than yeah. this. Tell them this, and they will be calm. Yeah. Now, they are here to get similar as much as you can give it to. Yeah. So with her eyebrows, she does have like these here more visible because they are more darker comparing mm -hmm. to these ones. There is no any other trouble except this. So sometimes what you have like, your brows are so much same, but the hair are so lighter comparing to the other side of your brow. So in that case, offer them another service. I can tint your eyebrow. Mm -hmm. Or let me pencil it for you. It's the same. And give them the mirror, take them all the way when you're penciling to their brow. Yeah. So they, they, you know, just, you just have to be, you just have to make sure that you're convincing them that your work is wonderful. Yeah. And yes, your work is wonderful. It's just the difference of their brow. And they don't want to go thinner on their brow. Mm -hmm. Again, it's going to be the same problem because the whole eyebrow is different. The hair growth, the texture is different, the color is different. Even if I'm going to remove the first top line again here, same issue is going to appear right here. It's yeah. not going to be the same unless you make it same with the tint. Yeah. Right? Then this eyebrow will look noticeably different yeah. than the other. Mm -hmm. So let's trim her eyebrows. What do they say? Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Mm -hmm. So with this one, look at the scissor. Straight right here. You see this one? Straight right here. But make sure ask your clients. Some of the clients, just because of the brow lamination, they don't really want to get trimmed a lot. Mm, so Some of like them, they're that. like, I love to get bushy eyebrows because I put the gel, you know, to get the lamination look. Okay, just all right. a little bit off the top. That's generally what I do. Mm -hmm. So let's say, so you want to trim a little bit from right here, right? So just mm -hmm. brush it upwards and then trim it from the top. But then again, don't trim a lot because sometimes you think that you're trimming right, but actually you guys are not. We are not. So we are just making it like a very bad line. Even though your work is wonderful, you did a great shaping with the brow. But once you have this one, you can ruin the whole shape again. Mm -hmm. So, because this brow is coming this way either or this way. So brush all the hair up and try your best. Keep going back and forth. There's no problem to do that. But don't just do it in rush. Which uh, tools do you recommend? Like scissors. Any regular Great scissors. scissors. Yeah, any scissors. I mean, I bring it mostly all my stuff from back home because mm -hmm. they have like all of this stuff, like stainless steel um, scissors. Mm -hmm. I get it from there. I got like my thread from Pakistan because it's more organic. Yeah. And they're more professional into it yeah. to make it here. I have tried so many that I haven't spent yeah, so much money. My scissors I yeah. use for my eyebrow are actually um, threading, like for mm -hmm. sewing, embroidery scissors, because they don't um, dole out as quickly. Yeah. So you don't get roasted or anything. Yeah. Is there a way to purchase like the thread? Yeah, that's what I'm thread? saying. Like, yeah, because once you are in a profession, you know it. So if the thread is keep breaking, it's not good. It's yeah. not. If Where it's would you recommend to get it though? As I said, like I get my thread in a so bowl. From you. Yes. <laughs> so when I'm just pulling, I'm pulling her skin and making it like more visible for me. And now I'm going to trim it, this part of her eyebrow. I'm gonna brush this again up. So only this part is bushier right here. Right here, right here. I 
I mean, I personally like to leave more hair. My style is more about natural looks, mm -hmm. not too, too shaped to brows. Because once your hair uh, of your brow is just keep removing the same, the same style from like months, it's not gonna come back. They're very fragile. You're damaging the follicle by removing them. So sometimes you're, when your client is keep coming to you and getting the same shape, just educate them. Please, let this time grow your brow. We're gonna just give you like a far clean up, so that's how you're not damaging your follicle. Mm -hmm. And they will trust you, because they know right, that your work is great. Mm -hmm. So you see her skin is pretty uh, sensitive, mm -hmm. but her brows, look, look at the, um, the result on her eyebrow. She's already getting a look off her brow lamination. So she, if yeah, she's yeah. putting like a little gel on her it's brow, look just like it. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they're so pretty. So without making it thin, we have given her like a very nice look to her face and to her brows because this is the frame of your face. Yeah. This part is a frame. Mm -hmm. And we end the frame right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it brought your face in. Yeah. If you're like threading the forehead, how far up could you go? It's up to you, like how far you want it to go. But then again, if you just don't, don't want to look Yeah. <laughs> if you don't want, if you want to avoid like those dark spots when your hair are coming back, just don't remove like the actual actual thick hair, but remove all the fine hair, the baby hair. Yes, you can do that. And by the way, uh, threading your forehead brings a lot of brightness to your face. Mm -hmm. I never put forehead makeup. I never did. Nothing. Like literally nothing. I don't touch this part just because I keep it clean and it gives me so much glow on my face. Like I feel so fresh with it. And whoever I have recommended this to get threaded or waxed, they love it. They love this idea. So somehow you are saving your makeup and your time both by threading or cleaning this part. Because this is all visible and clean. Your so forehead. The middle of her forehead. Yes. So I'm gonna give her like the toner and she's pretty done. I'm allergic to anything. Ask them. Most of them they are not. Like let's say ninety three people person people they are not allergic. I'm allergic to, to grass and trees and certain mm -hmm. trees, but that's about it. Basically, like natural outdoors. <laughs> okay. It. No, not with the rose water, right? No, I'm good okay. with rose water. I use okay. rose water toner every day. So. Okay, perfect. And especially if you're practicing facials, please do ask them, because mm -hmm. when they notice that you are giving them this question they know like you care about their skin. Mm -hmm. And from there, you can later on convince them to go and get their facial done by you. So if you see anything on their face, educate them. Like, you know what, this is what you can use. This is what you can do. Oh, by the way, I do facials too. Mm -hmm. And I use this product. So educate them, tell mm -hmm. them as much as you can. So while they are sitting on your chair, this is the best time for you to promote yourself. This is the best time for you to get a connection. There are plenty of artists and they are great. All of you, I'm pretty sure everyone is great here, but everyone is different. So we have to make sure that our client is coming back to us. Everyone is amazing in their own work. So what is making us different from one to another is our relationship with the client. So we have to make sure that our relationship with the client is great. All right, so what I'm gonna do just because her skin is too sensitive, I'm gonna use a little thing to pull her skin down. So she's gonna like. So let's say she's, let's pretend that she's just our client, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very yeah. cheap, available everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it changes the whole game. When you use this on a client, the $10 service, you can take it to 25, to 30, to 35. Is that a jade roller? Yes, or? it is. Is it kind of cold? Yeah, it's cold. cold. I, I always put this, so after using this, I'm gonna put it in my barbicide. Yeah. 10, 15, 20 minutes. You just, I have plenty of yeah. them. You remove it, you put it back in your fridge. Yeah. And it's cold, it's nice. Yeah. It's it is. lovely, mm -hmm. yes. And then the back of the side, just put it on their eyes. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. So let's say if you, do, if you are doing like a full face service, just go all over to their face with this one, even on their lips too, they will like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I don't like really. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and some people, especially like the people when they're in their crossing 40s, they love to get a massage. But then again, 
you have to see their skin first. If their skin is fragile like her, you're not supposed to touch their skin with your fingers. It yeah. can cause them break out. Even with all of your precautions, sometimes they get like break out. The yeah. reason is what? Tell them. Because you're I need to know the reason. <laughs> Friction, I think. It's because you're stimulating mm -hmm. the sebum and the, um, what is it? Oh, Cir oh. Circulation. The circulation. The sebum. Yeah. So when we remove the hair from the follicle, it's like already a trauma. Yeah. So when we cause the trauma, all the oil, they get like so active, they rush to the cells and they give them bumps and the break out. So tell them it has nothing to do with your service. Mm -hmm. It's just a natural reaction. But then again, you need to learn all of this before you go and tell your clients. Please do read your books. Books are your friends. Yeah. They are your business. They are your money. They are the one that can that you can go and buy brands with it. So, so if I want the facials, then I should be careful about the massage. Oh, uh, what do you mean by massage? Um, I'm thinking. Of, no, because we this is empty. We remove yeah. the hair. Follicles are clean right now. Yeah. This skin is pretty much open. The pores are open. Yeah. It's so much high chances to put the debris from your hands, transfusion from your hands to hers. Did it hurt? Not, okay, it did hurt a little bit underneath, but that's mostly because like I'm a little bit sensitive. Um, so for that, so like it's generally normal or to put the roller on it actually felt really good because it like calmed it. It's like how you said um when you wax, put cold water on. Oh yeah, I like it, thanks. <laughs> I'll sit up. No. Put it in there. Hold the mirror. Oh, yeah. Stop putting your head close. They look so good. I'm just, I'm one of those people who puts it close. Mm. 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 Thank you so much, Tuba. Yeah, thank you. It looks great.